the level, need them Girl, it's on my ride, shit, think I'ma keep them Keep them, yeah. in the wagon, I'm with the Jeep up Jeep up, I'm living lavish, I'm kicking feet up Feet up, I ain't met her in the club yeah. All the polish showing love yeah. Can you party with a thug? Yeah. I'm just trying to show you love yeah. VIP, we got it packed yeah. This is where the party at Today I'll be making edible slime. So what I'm about to do is show you how to make it and then I'm going to show you I'm going to eat it, whatever. I already know it's going to be like super sweet because I made it before so I'm probably not going to eat it. I'm probably going to just take a bite and throw the rest away because it's just like really sweet and you can't save it like for a few days because it's food real food so you can't do that so i guess i'll see you in the video bye okay i'm in the same area as yesterday's video when i made the clear slime go check it out um let me scoot this way so you're gonna need a container i'm gonna make it in this container right here and you're gonna need corn, corn starch you're gonna need some beers I got the ones with sugar cover because when I bought this, I didn't find any regular ones. The regular ones probably would have tasted less sour and sweet, so I probably would have liked those better. And I also got powder sugar. This one is open from making it before, that's why it's in the bag. Okay. So first, what you want to do, you want to get your container and you need a spoon too. So you want to get your container. Try to open it. You usually supposed to pick out the colors you want, or you can just throw all of it, throw something in there. So I want my slime to be clear. Not, not clear. It's not going to be clear because the powdered sugar is white. But I want it to be green. So I'm gonna pick out all the green gummy bears. So I can make this. I'm just gonna put it on the table because have, oh I could just put them on the top. It's been the same too. So put them on the top. Put that all in them. Okay, I'm gonna get I usually count out like 10, 15, or 5. Because if I've made like 15, it was actually a lot, so I think this would be enough. So, I'm going to count it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, exactly fifteen. That is perfect. So, what you want to do is you want to go microwave it. You have to microwave it. So, I'll be back. I'm going to microwave it right now. I microwave it for about 10 seconds. I'm going to put it on 30 seconds because it's easier to taste the button. So you want to wait till 10 seconds go by and then you want to open it and see if it's all melted. Okay, it's been 10 seconds. More than 10 seconds. You can see they're melting. Touch it on there a little softer than that, quite melt it. I think 30 seconds will be enough for the whole thing to melt. But you need to check it every 10 seconds. So I'm just going to go for it. It should be fine. Oh, yep. It's done. It's bubbling up. Um, yeah, you don't want to burn it or it's going to be nasty. So. I left with two seconds, so like two seconds when you heard it, but okay, here's the messy part. But I have my melted gummy bears. When you think of slime and you think of color, you usually think of green, so that's why I picked green. But you could pick any color you want, or you can dye it to make it any color you want, but you just want to mix it. But you want to do this process fast because if you don't. 
your um slime or try with well, a gummy bear to try it and it'll solve it but you can also put it back in the microwave but you wanna be fast. So what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna here's the messy part but I'm just gonna pour some cornstarch in this container messy part but I'm just gonna pour some in there and just mix it together. I'm so messy I know I have to clean all of this stuff up. Um, I think I put too much, but you don't want to touch it yet because it'll probably still be hot. But I touched it anyway because I don't care. I'll be back when my mess, my mess is cleaned up because this is a little bit too much. Okay, I cleaned up a little bit. Got it off my clothes a little bit. Still in my clothes a little bit. But I'm going to start kneading it because it kind of cooled off while I was... I'm cleaning up my mess. So I'm gonna put it on the table because I don't care. So um it's really hard to clean your container out. So to keep that in mind. It's really hard to do that, but you wanna just mix it. Mix it. And just keep mixing it until you get the slime stretchy consistency that's not sticky. I think, to be honest, it will always be sticky. It's always going to be sticky no matter what. Even from when you put your mouth in it, it's going to be sticky. But, um, you don't need the powdered sugar, but I am going to put some in there. So, I'm just going to go run this and put this in back in the microwave so I can add more powder to it and melt the rest of the bowl. So, I'll be back in a second. Um, here it is. Uh, I took some. It's good. It's still a little bit too sweet. But you just want to keep mixing until it's like cool down but once it cools down it will harden up it will harden up just keep mixing now this is when the powdered sugar comes in I'm gonna be careful with this I'm just gonna take some from my hands sprinkle it like that and you don't really need that much powdered sugar gonna mix it till it's all put together. The powdered sugar is really just to make it sweet. Okay, I want it to harden up fast, so I'm doing put some cornstarch in it. Okay, the cornstarch helps it do that. Just keep mixing. Just keep mixing. Just keep mixing. Alright, I'm gonna come to you, come back to this when it's all mixed in because it's gonna take a while. You just wanna keep mixing. Okay, I cleaned up my area. I am finished mixing it. Here it is. You will always want cornstarch on it because it will get sticky as you mix. And it, but here's the slime. You can put on the table, you can poke it, it doesn't really make noise, but um, you don't probably want to do that because you'll be eating it. But I'm just showing it for a video, so and I'm not gonna be eating, I'm probably just gonna take a little bite of it, and that's it. So it's actually really hard, but it's still a little stretchy. It still stretches it's just really hard it's not it's not better than regular slime but it, one time if one time in the future i want to make it clear that it was slime with tapioca flour so i have to go buy some of that but i can stretch it out it sounds like paper but anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video Bye.
I forgot to tell you how it tastes. So, I'm just gonna taste it and see how it tastes. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bite. Hmm. It's sweet. It tastes sour. I mean, these are sour gummy bears, so I guess. And. Um, basically eating the rack of sugar, so I wouldn't recommend eating it just for a daily basis. But I would recommend doing it for like a birthday party or something if you like slime. But it's definitely want to I'm put this beside. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Tell us I'm about you, think I'ma keep it, I'ma keep it yeah. Nothing to whack and I put the cheap up, cheap up Living lavish, I'm kicking feet up, feet up Better